Hey people, at this year's Maker Central, the Maker event of the year, the legendary Alex Ball Halfpenny organised another Maker Jenga. For anybody who doesn't know what Jenga is, well, it's a game where you... You take a block from the bottom and you put it on top. You take a block from the middle and you put it on. These happy people get it. Started by the awesome John Tansley, uh, apologise if I butcher your pronunciation of your name there, bud. Uh, the Maker Jenga is becoming a fun tradition where all sorts of makers from woodworkers, knitsmiths, knitsmiths, yeah, for lack of a better word, uh, electronics wizards, and stonecutters all bring a giant Jenga block for trading at the show, and of course, play a dangerous game of Jenga with massive blocks. No, not that massive. All the blocks are of course done in the maker's favourite mediums, so you have everything from blocks of wood, lumps of rock, to even 3D printed blocks. This was a great opportunity to bring a block that really reflects my personality and skills. So I thought to myself, yeah, it has to be wood, obviously. Badly engineered, obviously. Preferably with lots and lots of glue. Uh, integrate some electronics, and most important part of my personality it needs to reflect, be extremely annoying easy. I've had some fun at a few STEM events showing off these little bristle bots. They're tiny robots powered by a button cell battery that runs a little vibrating motor making it shuffle around randomly, which can be quite entertaining, especially if you make them fight. Three, two, one, fight! We have a winner! The motor is the same sort of motor that you might find in your mobile phone, which vibrates when on silent. Uh, you can find them in all sorts of things, like game controllers to give haptic feedback, uh, pages for those old enough to remember those, and those vibrating massage wands. The inner workings are pretty simple. The motor just rotates, just like motors do, but it rotates an offset mass, causing a centrifugal force, which gives it a bit of a wobble. Now, a Jenga block that vibrates. That could be fun, I thought. So let's see if I can find a little motor that'll fit inside the block. This will do nicely, I think. And a quick test, just to make sure. Ho 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 ho, nice. Shouldn't be too hard to hide this in a block of wood. Biggest problem might be how to turn it on without it being too obvious. Uh, maybe some kind of sensor that detects when it's being pulled out. Shouldn't be too hard, uh, an LDR or light dependent resistor could work well. Maybe not though, might be difficult to set up and it'll give the game away. Plus, this is something you might want to be able to turn off. Aha! Remote control is the cheese! This simple 433MHz remote receiver and relay from AliExpress should work well. I'll pop a link to where you can buy these in the uh, video description below, by the way. The remote sends a signal to this receiver, which on its own isn't powerful enough to run a motor, but it activates a relay, which will turn off and on the power to the motor. I'd better cobble it all together just to make sure it works, uh, just from a desktop power supply for now. <laughs> it's working! Pretty sure they won't let me plug my Jenga block into the wall for power at the show though, so I'd better get this thing working from a battery. Right, now to shove this lock all into a block. This is an amazing opportunity to showcase my fine joinery skills, but there's two problems with this. One, I'm running out of time, and two, I don't have any fine joinery skills. I did a mock assembly, but it didn't quite fit to where I placed the butt converter and some of the glue, so I skillfully created a small pocket on the plywood side and sliced a bit of the glue away. Now, time was against me, so I blocked out any intrusive thoughts about nice screws and clever hardware and the ability to pff, open this again, and I reached for the wood glue. I used generous amounts around the edges, but I didn't have time for the glue to dry, so where normally I'd rely on clamps alone, I supplemented them with some good old liquid clamps, or CA glue if you prefer. 
a few little blocks added inside for extra strength. I mean, we don't want this thing to shake apart in the first five minutes, do we? And a generous combo of wood glue and CA glue all around the rim to glue the lid on. Ah, it goes against every wood joint in my body to only give this five minutes to dry, but the CA glue should hold it together while the wood glue cures properly overnight. I gave the entire piece a rough sanding with 40 grit just to bring everything square from my shoddy glue up, and then I gave the edges a little chamfer with a block plane. Looks okay, but I think it just needs a little something extra to make it pop. So I carefully put some paper down and went nuts with the red spray paint. Oh dear, that's got on my table saw there. Um, if anybody looks at this later, they might worry what happened uh, and what exactly I've been cutting. Never mind. I also chucked some glitter on and gave it a coat of spray varnish before getting some sleep. It's Maker Central Day! Woo! So many cool things to do and cool people to see, but I went straight over to the Jenga Tower to add my block and have a little fun. If you want to turn it off, right? Switch the switch, it says off. Right. If you want it, well, I leave you to work out the rest of the controls right, for yeah, yourself. Yeah. And there you go. A to turn it on once it's on, obviously, B to turn it off. I don't know how long it's going to last. Horrible because it's really bad joinery, but we shall see. I'm gonna put it a couple of rows down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's right in there. Oh, right, yeah. <laughs> 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 didn't manage to make any children cry. If anything, they loved the vibrating block and it sparked their imagination. Oh no, 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 what happened there? I guess that's a win. Unfortunately, the power didn't last until the next day. Might have been because the block was left on overnight. Or perhaps could have been from Al having way too much fun with it. Who's to say? Al did manage to get a hammer and chisel and open up the block to change the batteries though, so we're okay for the next day a little bit. A little embarrassing though, because uh, you got to see all my sloppy soldering and insides uh, with the over application of hot glue. Worth it for those few extra hours of chaos though. So, I loved making this block and I would be totally up for making another one at next year's Maker Central, but if that happens, what should I make? Answers in the comments below, and best idea gets a thousand wood points. Wood points are karmic rewards only and have no monetary value. Wood points cannot be used with any other coupons, discounts, offers or promotions. Wood points can potentially expose you to chemicals including wood, which are known by the state of California to cause cancer and birth defects or other reproductive harm. Your home is at risk if you do not keep up repayments.